Hello guys, welcome back. Today um, we are going to discuss about um, one more um, technical indicator, which is exponential moving average. So it is slightly different um, than simple moving average. So as you guys already know that simple moving average is basically the average of n number of um, periods. Let's say we are trying to calculate the 10 days simple moving average. So we just wanted to add all the value of 10 days then divided by 10. So that is what we can calculate the simple moving average and then we can keep keep adding into that. But when we talking about exponential moving average, it's different in terms of weight. So when I'm talking about weight, so in simple moving average, um, we are giving equal weights to all the numbers across the time frame. So which means we are giving the same way to recent value as well as 10 days old uh, value, right? But in exponential moving average, so we are giving more weight to the recent values and less weight to the older values. That is the basic difference. So how to calculate that? So if you see here, the formula is very simple. We are just saying, that today's price let's say you know today's closing price so basically in this example i'm going to show you how to calculate this exponential moving average in the excel format and also in python programming so this video is um, you know exclusively into excel for python uh, you know programming i'm going to make another videos so you have to check that out so, but let's first understand the concept throughout Excel and then you can move to Python program, right? So if you see here, so this is closing price of today's closing price. So minus my previous EMA into multiplier and then I'm adding the previous EMA. So that is my today's EMA. So basically the today's EMA is equal to today's closing price minus yesterday EMA into multiplier plus yesterday EMA. All right. So now if we are doing for let's say five minutes candle or 10 minutes candle, then of course the, uh, you know, so this EMA, we are, we, are, we are going to calculate this EMA for the current candle. And this is the close price of current candle. And then this is the EMA of previous candle and then multiplier plus EMA of previous candle. That is what that is what we are going to uh, do. Now the question is, so this multiplier is basically uh, is the smoothing factor of, you know, giving different weight um, to different uh, values. More weight to the recent values and less weight to the older values. All right. Now there is a basic fundamental, uh, you know, problem with this um, you know formulas if you see we are going to calculate today's ema but then we are saying today's close price minus yesterday ema but we don't know the yesterday ema right how how we are going to do that so with this uh, formula so there is a problem to that so we need the first ema so for that what we want to do or what we will do is the first EMA has to be an SMA. So we will, that's why I mentioned here, the initial EMA or the first EMA will be the SMA, simple moving average. And then moving on, the next EMA we can calculate because we have got the SMA here. So the, this one and this one, if you see here, these two will be the SMA for the first EMA calculation. And next, then we will use EMA for calculating the EMA. 
hope, hopefully you are getting this concept so we will don't worry we will move to the excel and i will explain there and multiplier is basically two divided by one plus time period so if i'm calculating the ema for 10 days so the multiplier or alpha will be two divided by one plus ten so if i'm doing for five minutes candle then it will be two divided by one plus five like that that is my multiplier so we are going to do that so in python programming so there are two way to do it one is a basic way to do it another is uh, you know if you are using uh, python then i can show you that ewm method how to do that so i'm coming to that later first understand this in excel okay so now i'm going to move on to excel file and then then i can explain there all right let's move on to here so as you can see here this is my debt column and this is my closing price of an instrument so this is i think this is nq price so this is nq means uh, nasdaq 100 future e mini nasdaq 100 future which is uh, trading in um, you know cme exchange okay and i think this is pre and post market data but anyway that is not our concern for which data it is but you know you have your data you have your date or you have your uh, you know time whatever uh, you just wanted to calculate the EMA for last 10 days or last 10 uh, unit, I mean 10, 10 price or whatever, right? So first, as I told you, okay, so let me, let me first, uh, you know, explain to you how SME, SMA need to calculate. If you, if you don't know how to calculate SMA, I'm going to show this also in Excel. For Python, how to calculate SMA, you can just uh, check uh, one of my videos I have already put into, you know, in the description, you can just go and check that, how to calculate the SMA in Python, you can go and check that. So let me explain this to you, how to calculate the SMA first, and then we will move to EMA. So the SMA part is basically, as you know, we are just going to simply calculate the average. So in Excel, there is a, so this is, let's calculate, uh, you know, so here, our periods because this is daily data so i am saying my periods or days equal to 10 days here we are going to calculate the 10 days sma and 10 days ema all right this is my this thing so so how many days so 10 day, 10 uh, points so i think this is 9 9 point this is 10 10 days data i have so in this day you know i have the price of all the 10 days right so i just wanted to know what is the average price of this last 10 days okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to simply calculate average here as you can see average function and then i'm saying this to this so i just wanted to know how what is the average price for last 10 days this is the 10 days and this is the average price I can see this is the average price. Now, if you drag this, you can see the black one. If you double click on it, will the formula will you know copy it till the till the last uh, row. All right. So this is what the price for each day. Now let's say take an example of 14th of May. So on 14th of May, this is my average price for last 10 days. If you see here, last 10 days. So from 5th of May. To 14th of May, this last 10 days, what is the average price? The average price is 15375.93. All right. So in any given point of point of time, you can see what is my last 10 days average price. That is was what the your simple SMA, simple moving average. Now coming to your EMA, which is our discussion today. All right. So when I am talking about um, EMA or exponential moving average. So as I already explained that here what we are doing is basically we are giving equal weights to each of the days. But in EMA, I am giving more weight to the yesterday price, which is I mean the last price. And then I'm keep giving less less weight and I will give the you know, least 
weight to this price. That is what the EMA is doing. All right, that is called smoothing factor. Now for that, first I need to calculate the multiplier. So as you as I as I told you, the multiplier is equal to 2 divided by 1 plus okay i'm going to 1 plus period the period is 10 okay so 2 divided by 1 plus 10 that is my multiplier which is 0 0.181818 all right first is i have calculated the multiplier now so as i told you as you see the let's copy the formula here let's copy the formula from here to my excel so that it will be easy to put it here all right now first i need to see what is my closing price my closing price is anyway this one 15374.75 my previous ema now what is happening here so i don't have ema here i don't have ema also here right so think technically let's say if i want to calculate the ema so i am i'm going to use the ema previous day ema so for that first i have to calculate the sma and for for that my sma is ema so here i need to calculate the sma so as you know sm is basically the average right so average of this to this which is last 10 days okay now i got the sma here now this is the ema for me where i'm going to calculate on 11th of may right for 12th anyway i will have the ema here so should not be any problem but only on 11th I am using SMA. You understand now? Okay, cool. So on 11th of May, let me calculate the EMA. So what it is saying? So that is equal to my closing price, which is this one, minus previous day EMA, which is SMA for me now, this one. And then I have to multiply with the multiplier is into the multiplier is this so i have to make it constant so i have to put f4 so it will be keep a dollar sign and it will constant now it will not move when i drag the formula all right so this i need to add with my previous ema which is sma for me now so this is the EMA for 11th of May, right? Now, if I double click here, I can see each day EMA. Now, if you see on 12th, it is using the previous EMA, which is actually the EMA. But for 11th, I am using this one, which is actually a SMA. You understand? Now, going forward from 11th, from, from 12th onwards, I mean from here right so the data and everything is getting correct and this is like the ema for all the dates that we are actually looking for all right so this is my 10 days ema or 10 ema and how you are this is how you we need to you need to calculate uh, you know for the exponential moving average okay so I, ho I hope you understand these videos. Now, next is how you are going to calculate this exponential moving average in Python programming. So for that, uh, you need to check my next video. So there I am going to explain that. 